This is Act One. Facebook. I immediately save it to my phone. That's pretty cool. Then you got the deciduous trees, conifers trees, all the different type knot types of knots. So, I mean, these, these are, are free cool. giveaways these at. What do we call this event? Uh, survival class. <laughs> this is survival class, and where is it going to be? We're at. We're going to end up at Fort Gibson. Ranger Creek. Yep. Ranger Creek. And this is giveaways, and these are handkerchiefs, and this is, uh, which one is this? Is knot tying, and you've seen the other ones was uh, describing trees and, and the whole nine yards. Uh, so we're uh, building backpacks here. We can only take, what, 10 items? This is Russell. What's your name? Doug. Doug. And you got Johnny here. We're the first three here to arrive at the survival class today. So we hope that more people will come. The bowfang here, that's just an extra that we're just kind of discussing, but this is some of the stuff that we've got in a backpack. You got Russell's got a hatchet right there. Now this is some giveaways that he has for the class participants. Now that looks like a stove of some type. Canned fuel. Canned fuel. Candles. Life straws. Uh, this is the life straw. Now where do you, where can we get that? You can, I bought mine at Walmart. See, where at Walmart? Walmart right here in the, in the camping section. Where in I the camping it? section and it's a Sawyer is shorter than the life straw even that's what i just read on that look it's at the shorter. length of this life straw yeah, it's got a longer this one could, this one can do 100,000 gallons it comes with a plunger kit so you can clean it and refresh it again and start over so it's going to last i don't know i'll probably have that for two years now i've never had any, any issues whatsoever so, I mean, these things when they come with a bag so you can make a clean bag so you can you don't and this here will screw right on the top you got a pop bottle or anything it screws right on the top of your pop bottle too, so you can drink straight out of it Check this out. Look at that. That's the Sawyer filter. So if you had a regular water bottle, you could, you could go fill that water right up out of the creek and hook this Sawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is stuff that we're planning on leaving in a bug out bag for if shit ever hits the fan scenario. You broke down. You're in a tornado ravages through and you're stuck on the side of a highway you've got a backpack that uh, you can survive 24 hours 48 hours up to 72 hours worth of food and uh essentials in a backpack like this about 17 years let's have russell bust open a bag here his 10 items and uh see what he's got here so we're going off into the woods and this is the only 10 items we can take i've got my 10 items over here which just includes a can uh, hand sanitizer and a bottle, some, uh, wire and rope, and then this is what uh, Russell's got. Uh, one of the most essential things was uh, steel wool. That's one of the things that I was really uh, surprised about. Even my wife knew about it, but here I am. By the way, my wife come home one day and says, "You're a prepper." You know, she's already into the. She's been reading up on this stuff and uh, knows about what the steel wool was for. I had no clue. You put a <laughs> nine volt battery in it, short it out, and it'll create a fire. And this is a complete. Uh, SAS survival manual. What's the SAS stand for? Is it a? Is there any other survival manual? Any other type of survival manual than SAS? Yeah, Plants from the wild. That's one of the things I imagine we're going to be learning today. Is uh, we'll be doing a little bit of forging. We'll be doing more trap building snares. Sweet. Fish traps. Just the basic. Assumptions. Oh, even some fish traps. That's awesome. That's all. Russell's I mean, been talking about some fish. For a giveaway. I found one that's spring-loaded and flattens like this, about that big around. You take the two clips off and you spring on this survival deal, then he tells us that we can use anything that we find along the way here. So y'all turn your back. We need the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't start till we're at the site. We're not at a site. Oh, he says we got to be oh, at the site going? now. Is he, does this sound like he's making up the rules as we go here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like the first rule that we can do. Does anybody know where they're going? Yeah. I've oh, see that for many, many years. So is there going to be water there and all that? Th yeah. Oh, we, they shoot all you need is a string. Yeah. 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 I gave them a list of 30 items. They can choose 10 of the 30 items to bring with them. Oh, and yeah. they got to figure out how to use each item. And then we're going to find up on top please. of there. And we're going to go back and it's going to end up back over here where the lake is. Right on the other side. Of so the lake is all actually up on top of that? The lake is actually right over here, but it wraps all oh. the way back around to the right. Got a fish right there. Yep. Somebody's got a fish out here He's in a fishing boat. What kind I was hoping I had enough, but, but everybody else brought their stuff, so I, we can make this work. So I've Does done that make this. up for the glitter? Yeah, it makes up for you for getting the glitter. <laughs> can you tell us what this glitter was going to be for? 
I can. Since we didn't. got more people showing up, they may have glitter, so I don't want to tell you. Okay, so we can't. I know. Oh, tell us that way we can go. We know. We know. If one thing. You guys be surprised. There's multiple uses for everything I put on there. There's more than one use for every all 30 items. And so it was just up to you to figure out which ones. And there's been several events where, like I said, there ain't 30 items. You don't bring anything. Somebody pulls up and we'll be like, all right, what's in the back of this truck? That's what we're going to use. Only the items in the back of your vehicle. So or now the, from now on. Trunk of your car. We know. Put everything in the back. <laughs> leave, my, leave my truck the way it normally is. <laughs> this is a prepper group and everybody here has given permission to be put on YouTube. So this is a little... Uh, YouTube video that we're putting together for a survival class. He gave us an option if we was to, he gave us 30 items, we pick out 10 of those items, each one of us, and then he asked us what would be the one item that you could take, and I told him a magnet and a, a paper clip. Uh, quarter stick of dynamite. He said a quarter stick of dynamite. <laughs> All of us had a different reason to take something else. One thing about Everybody's is find you it. have to know which direction you need to go. I, I can't find my way out of a plastic paper bag. So his thing was the pot, a pop bottle. So now tell us the reason why the pop bottle would be the... When we get there. Okay, so that's that's our top secret uh, reveal when we get there. But this is his item that he would take. Uh, 30 items. He's going to take a pop bottle. Uh, does anybody here care to be on YouTube? I don't care. You don't care? Okay. Usually as preppers, we don't put it on YouTube, but this is a survival class. I'll probably edit that out, and if anybody doesn't want to be on in YouTube, I'll edit them out. No problem. Beautiful dog. What's his name? His name's RJ. RJ? And the okay idea if we operate openly in the public so we get pictures and... Down, uh, down in there because we literally I got guys. Back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna goose it, and I don't want to drop you off the back. And then we got two guys back in the back. Is that? Yeah, back. All right, then there's three. And guys. we've got to go yeah, through this. This is what we're going through here, and we're on our way. This is the beginning of this guy's survival <laughs> class. I've never watched that many, but I do know the reference to you. Sure, they got a pretty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going straight? Yeah, go this one here. Right. You already got it in high low or low low four? Yeah, no, I got it in high four. <laughs> so maybe I would never watch voluntarily. I didn't. I guess I'm the rookie because they said uh, we start hearing banjos playing. I had no clue what that means, no. but uh, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it's referencing Brook Mountain or something. That means you sure do got a pretty you mouth. <laughs> Real like a pig. <laughs> Last time I was out here, I didn't hear banjos. However, we did hear an organ playing all night long. Oh it was God. just as creepy, hey, I promise somebody you. Somebody keep an eye on them in the back because I'm watching ahead of me, not behind me. Hey, no, no sticking together back here in my you're truck, damn it. Me. I ain't even got to christen this thing yet. Russell, Too late. Russell, she's touching me. Oh, here comes one pretty good little mud hole. The the seat. With a sharp left turn. Like oh, shit. Think you can do it? I don't know how much room I've got. This thing's long wheel based. Mm hmm. You got a pretty good angle at it. Watch so. this tree here, bro. Now most of this good is here. usually pretty good through here. For the most part, they're I mean like I said, when we get back in there, if it gets too much, we'll stop and hike it in. Hike. <laughs> okay, you can walk. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's not quite as muddy as it is now. I would go to the left well, either one of these would probably work. Whichever one you think you get longer with us. If you go to the left, it's usually sturdier, but it's not a this is a pretty deep one here, so you may want to. Three county fairs and a goat roping. This is the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> three county fairs and a goat roping. <laughs> uh, that was a tree down I can move that log. Just hold up and I'll jump out and grab it. Oh, thank God. It's not a big tree. <laughs> Rocky. Firewood. Hey, we found it on the road. It's firewood. I think we just saw Sasquatch, too. Oh, that's, that's Russell. That's Russell. <laughs> that's Russell. <laughs> <laughs> good, so that's what's important. Yeah, this road This one looks like a pretty sharp crazy. turn. Yeah, okay, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> They've had some pretty good rain out here. Uh, it's rained every day for eight days straight now. Wow. That's why it's well, tall and grown up and pretty out here. Yeah, that's a water boy. Oh, that Oops. rain some up. <laughs> Well, you're christening in the truck, right? So, boy, that ain't no shit. 
I was like, don't get stuck in the mud puddle, dude. <laughs> yeah, we all got to bail out in the mud. Don't let the wife see this footage. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the wife see this footage. You may want to get your we all got on the left side there to watch the truck, right? Warning! 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 So everybody needs to come to a conclusion of what we're going to work on first. John Ryan. I'd say, I'd say, shelter, I'd say shelter is probably my guess because fire and shelter is going to be the main first two things I do believe. Because shelter, we got rain coming constantly, so we're going to get our stuff in and get our gear dry. So we want to be able to have it somewhere. So we're building individual shelters or community shelters. That's is up to you guys. This is part of the survival class. You guys can decide. You want to do a couple small ones? Does everybody want to build one big one? Um, however you guys want to do it. The smaller it is, the easier it is to keep warm and stay dry and maintain. The bigger it is, the more effort, but then you got everybody putting into it, too. So, I mean, do we want to Gilligan's Island it out here and have huts, or do you guys want to just have small shelters? We want to get it done quick. We can check that outcropping. We want to assess the area. First thing we're going to do is assess the area. So we're going to walk to where we're going to be looking for. As we're walking, that was stuff was on the dash. Oh. It was somebody's. <laughs> uh, we're going to assess the area. We're going to walk around through here. We're going to check everything. Look for a good place for shelter. We want to look around. We don't want to be building in water. We don't want to be somewhere where the water is going to flow up on us. Um, we are getting more rain. The creek will be rising higher and higher. What's going on? You cannot what you have to survive. So if you find something else out here, you can your items. We're actually looking for a place to build a shelter. Well, we got a cave right there. Underneath that rock, there somebody could one person <laughs> can lay underneath there. Uh, possibly have some more rain. So our decision is to either do a community shelter or do individual shelters. I've got that large um, trash bag. So now cameraman gets somebody else to carry his pack. I would assume, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, listen to all these excuses. Yeah, I drove. <laughs> he drove. <laughs> I told you to drive. I Guys, I uh, picked some stuff out of the truck, got my bags. We're literally walking through water, creeks, muds to get up to the site that he's picked out. He's done this and been here before. Well, now we've already got wet feet, so. That's what we brought dry socks for. That's the water bird. I heard them down there at the dam. Boy, don't they make a wildest noise? He's already picking some blackberries. Look at that. So there's another reason for the pot bottle, huh? We can bring that pot bottle and fill it literally full of these wild blackberries that are along the forest yeah, floor here. Wine. Yeah, it's blackberry <laughs> wine. Good eye, okay, this is on our hike here and we're coming up to a big creek and we're looking for a site and he said that we're looking for a place to make a shelter. Have we decided whether we're doing a community shelter or a single shelter? I think community. So we're all going to build one big community shelter or two yep. or three yeah. or two or three yeah so that's our he said that's our first plan is to, is to get a shelter because it uh, looks like we might have some rain coming up you're a sleeping bag dragon you're a sleeping bag dragon we found some more blackberries um, we got water all around us there's tons of berries all over the ground i mean i've been eating my tree already everywhere yeah <laughs> So, our next question is, where do you guys want to be? Do you want to be on flat ground, easier to build? Or do you want to be up in the rocky area, better shelter? Anybody got any suggestions? This is a group area, a group idea. Okay, we got one for over there and one for we over there. We got one for over on the flat area over there. And where was the other we, area? We can, yeah, we can split and go in two different directions. Well, we can have two sites set. We can split up into two groups, four and four even. Have four up there and four down here. We could all build one area. We could all just walk around. And we can keep continuing on until we find the perfect location. We can keep walking all the way down the creek if you guys want. This creek will eventually run into the lake. Over there on the rocky. We're about down there across the, the creek. It looks kind of flat, but we still have access to the higher ground if the water decides to go up. Let's, let's walk around and take a look. Transportation is that way. 
<laughs> so that's the consideration. Look right so over there. Say so they haven't There's flat like normal, rocky. got any of the weather right and it comes oh. up and it's raised five foot in that time. <laughs> We're stuck there so we can get across. What's Practicing like survival work, skills, that's what it's all about. Practice it for whenever the shit does hit the fan. What are some of the scenarios that you know today that could happen in our government, in our world as we know it, it could end, it cause a catastrophe that would cause people to forage for food or to have to leave their homes? So we're not getting like getting stuck on a peninsula or an island. Right. In the open situation, you want to find someone that's got good overhang. Look on the ground. If you find a spot that's dry, that means it's been dry without having to build anything. RJ. So we want to kind of keep an eye on the ground. I'm going to get poison ivy all over my legs. That was a great idea to not wear britches. Got different guys breaking off into two different groups that are looking for chicken. Places to set up our shelter. How sharp is your little axe? Will it split one of them little leaves in half? Just a little, cut the little limb. Look at that, it's like a razor blade. What are you sharpening that thing with? Do you got Actually, a... when I got it, I never sharpened it. Oh yeah? Wow, that's good. That, that come, that sharp, that's awesome. Still factory sharp. Where'd you get it at? I actually got it for Christmas a couple years ago. Sweet, it's nice, nice little hatchet. Awesome. Well, it looks like they've uh, decided that we're going to go with this level ground up here. Uh, we just seen a snake over here. Uh, we've got a lot of berries around on the floor here. This will be our shade. New home for the night. This will be the new home for the night right here. I thought you said we were staying at the hill. This will be when we're done. All you just right. got Hillbilly Hill Hilton. The Hillbilly Hilton. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> No hammock. <laughs> if you're using a hammock, you got to build your hammock. I well, actually have a couple that are going to try to build a hammock. So. From a security aspect. You want to put, divide it in thirds with an open shot to the water. That way you can see the water. Mm -hmm. or if anybody needs to relieve themselves at night, they can mm -hmm. go relieve themselves in the water. Catch 22. You get too close to water, you have water snakes. There's eight of us, correct? Yeah. Why don't we do groups of two? Everybody work together as groups of two, and everybody build their own little shelter for two people. That's not too big, not too small. Okay. I'll let you guys divide up in the teams how you guys want them. Come on, Johnny. And I'll be with whoever's left. <laughs> Roomy. You too. All right. You just, you <laughs> yeah, you? No. All right. So. No, I mean that works good. You got Jack and his wife, me and Johnny. That two Those came two, together, and then you two. All right. You got Jack and his wife, <coughs> Russell and his wife for the night. He's got a pretty mouth. Boy, you he sure got, got a pretty, got a pretty mouth. mouth. <laughs> All right. And My we're spooning, and I'm going the back side of that deal. We can build a couple different styles. If anybody needs help or has any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. Because right, we got to get ours up too, but I just. So we want to make sure everything is great at this point. Get yourself up off the ground. Dry shelter. You want to make sure you got plenty of leaf cover. Um, remember, the bigger you make it, the harder it's going to be keep warm, and the harder it's going to be to stay dry. So the smaller you make it, the easier it is. You guys may be cuddling tonight, but he said he liked that anyways. He liked banjo music. He's got so. a pretty, pretty, pretty mile. So just make sure. Think, think of the basics. Clear your area. Um, she already had some spiders in her area. So watch out for the spiders. Watch out for the insects. Make sure you're in a safe zone. And thanks, thank you. Yeah. This will be a contest on this one. So whoever has the best shelter, everybody's going to go around voting. And whoever they think has the best shelter, everyone there wins the vote, prizes. So. Okay. Yeah, my thought process was we've got two big trees, good foliage overhead. Build our bed first off the ground, so we're not trying to do that while we're under a shelter. Mm -hmm. And then shelter over. Sounds like you got it under control. I'll come back and check on it again here in a little bit and see how it's coming. Petition. So they've got the lean-to. That's are going to camp out with sleeping bags inside of that. Another guy's bag here. That's another one. 